Update, would I be the butthole if I sue myself for stealing my book and making a huge profit from it? Little update on the apology, it's not out. She said she needed more time to prepare her emotional state and she's overworked with their child, but she'll let me know when I can have the apology. Thank you everyone for giving me advices on how to proceed with this mess. After speaking with my pre-law friend, I decided to go the legal route. I reiterated my compromise with Syl and my brother, but he has fully taken her side. My parents warned me that I'd be disowned and I'd be dead to them if I'm willing to stoop so low. I hired a lawyer and given all the details on my side. My lawyer said she needs my unedited manuscript for the book and my Sill's published book along with a copy Sill sent to have it proofread and edited. Because the published book has different parts changed, my lawyer needs the unedited version which Sill should still have in the transaction she did with her editor and proofreader. We took the risk to ask Sill for the unedited copy she sent to her editor and proofreader despite the chance of having her feign I don't remember their names, I don't have their contacts anymore, I don't want to. Etc. I told Syl that we will go through the route of having to use third-party notarization to ensure no foul play on either part, have one individual look at my unedited manuscript and the one she sent to her hired editor, plus, proofreader. Once I told her that, she must have realized I was not bluffing. Syl and my brother accepted the compromise, I take the pseudonym, the royalties, with evidence of sold copies. I stipulated that Syl must put a message out to her followers on her blog that she stole from me and not a single word in the book is hers. I thank the Redditors for suggesting that. She is clearly pissed off and disgusted with me for doing this to my own family. I threatened her with further legal proceedings if she doesn't do it. No lawsuit happened, but I'm glad I got a professional option just in case. As words got back to my parents of what I did and how dare I got a lawyer to punish Syl because her blog followers will surely lose trust in her and future revenue. I told them and my parents that if they have anything to say, use my business email. I'm done with them. They treated an outsider, Syl one month into dating my brother, better than they ever did to me. I don't need that negativity dragging me down. I'm happier, freer with my opinions, and I don't have to feel the need to compete with everything Syl does just to get my parents to love me a little more than a daughter in name. I have my friends, they've always been more of a family unit to me than my biological ones. I knew I was going to lose something coming out of this, but I didn't expect I'd be okay with the disappointment and hurt. Thank you, everyone. And no, I will not be telling anyone what the name of the book is because I only came here to get a moral judgment and update everyone on what happened. Please don't think I'm using this for clout. The book will not be promoted on Reddit, not then, not now, and not in the future either. Web link. I remember reading your original post and the rage on your behalf it filled me with. I'm so happy that things worked out so well for you. As someone that has cut ties with almost everyone on my bio mother's side of the family, as well as her husband and a good chunk of his, family is extremely overrated. Stick with the people that actually love you, you'll be much happier. That really sucks, are you getting paid at least? Don't ever take any of them back, as you are no longer putting up with BS they will now need someone else to be their scapegoat. Remind me. 10 days. Given I had to cut my mom out of my life after my dad died, I fully understand what you're going through. It sucks and you're far better off without them. There's got to be blog followers out there that find out they're here didn't write such and such book around here some while, anywhere? I respect the not telling the name but I am very curious. They're disgusted with you for doing this to your family? Up, I'm glad you cut them out of your life. Their morals, values, and ethics certainly differ from yours. Interesting they want to disown you for wanting to make things right but they are cool with her stealing it and passing it as her own. How can your family be pissed at you for what you did to your family and not her for literally stealing from you to profit off your work? Your family sucks, and you're better off without them. I'm so glad this worked out for you. And you didn't do anything to your family your Syl did. Her actions were despicable and it's almost inconceivable that your family supported her. Your family sounds really toxic, so go NC and good riddance. I predict a happy future for you. 
No you wouldn't I'd sue anyone in my family if they took the book I'm writing right now anyone would. Good for you. But how can they be only dating for a month with a 6 meter old baby? Sorry if I got that wrong. Anyhow NTA, your sister-in-law Ida. Sorry for the confusion. My mind is running on fumes. When my brother introduced Syl to my parents after one month of dating, she was only his girlfriend at the time, my parents were. I guess, elated to have her over more after they asked her what she did for a living. Syl and my brother broke off their engagement twice for personal reasons and wrong timing, so I wasn't sure how to describe their love timeline in a non-confusing manner. Ah, thanks for the clarification. They were definitely in the wrong by not having your back on this one. What does she mean how could you do this to your own family? She literally plagiarized, in her words, her own family. I'm glad you got your book back. I'm sorry your family was so crafty to you, but I'm happy you stood up for yourself. I'm glad it all worked out for you all. That's great news. You should be proud of yourself and sticking to your principles. Slash she is clearly passed off and disgusted with me for doing this to my own family slash you need to rephrase that sentence too. I am clearly pissed and disgusted with her for doing this to her own family. And show this to her. NTA. I can't begin to understand what you've gone through. I can't even comprehend your parents taking your sill side. Wow. Just wow. But kudos to you for not backing down. Also, I love your integrity with not including the book's title, your sill's name or any other identifying info. Internet sleuths can get out of control. Cheers to a brighter future. My parents warned me that I'd be disowned and I'd be dead to them if I'm willing to stoop so low. Lower than a thief? Really? You are well shut of them. Good for you. NTA. I should have gone low contact with them before the entire mess, but I couldn't bring myself to do it without. Reason? That makes sense. They're your parents after all so it's not an easy thing to do. But I'm really happy for you that you place this boundary now and hopefully they won't contact you anymore. If they value your sill more than you even after what she did, then they don't deserve you in their lives. Your sill stole from you and your parents are mad at you for it? Yikes. My whole life is yikes at this point lol but something good is coming out of this mess. Can't complain too much. Let's see whether you suddenly regain your family when your book and the sequels become bestsellers. It's appalling that the Sill is mad. Like? She stole her own family's work and has the nerve to think she's a victim. Why does it seem like most am I the butthole post have weird friends and parents who tend to be angry with the original post all the time? Even though the other party is clearly at fault. Probably because people not in situations like that are less likely to have a reason to post here in the first place. There are also plenty of fake posts. I don't get the point of faking Reddit posts. There's literally nothing to gain. Me either, to be honest. Perhaps those people just like wasting others' time? Wow, they really cared more about her future than the fact that she was a liar and a thief. Screw all of them. Did she make the blog post? Not yet. She has a week to make it in case she wants to use a PR team to lessen the damage of her name. I would suggest asking to see any explanation slash apology before it I released, so you can be sure she doesn't throw anyone else under the bus, try to claim she was coerced by a third party etc. Make sure it is an honest explanation. Great idea. I'd prefer if the public apology is the last communication I have with her, and I hope she doesn't try to twist the narrative in her apology. Honestly. Would you put it past her? She stole from you and waited until the very last second to relent when she knew you were serious and had the potential to really ruin her. I don't see her growing a conscience overnight and suddenly holding herself accountable. Her reputation is all she has left now and I don't doubt she will try to protect it at all costs. Truthfully, I wouldn't even trust her with my store-brought rotisserie chicken now. She'd definitely eat all the skin and more than half the chicken. Unforgivable. 
Lamao she definitely ate both the drumsticks like an a-hole, smiley face. Your comment made me cackle at the laundromat, thank you. The way I screamed at this original post. Have her transmit this post slash apology to you though your attorney that will make sure she does it right. I apologize to my sister-in-law that my book has similarities with her story idea, it was never my intention to take subtle inspiration from a work of hers that was still in my subconscious memory. I have decided to do the right thing and dedicate the royalties to her to give her a boost in her writing career. Yes. Fully agree, you need to okay the post before she shifts blame slash twist the narrative. She's clearly not to be trusted in not manipulating situations and doing things to advance herself. Is there some form you can get her to sign that affirms that everything she stole was in fact stolen and then have it notarized just in case she decides to badmouth your story or try to claim things once some kind of statute of limitations runs out also I am sorry you had to deal with such a bad situation but on the bright side this situation allowed you the chance to cut out negatives in your life and make room for those who enrich your life. That's probably the best thing to do at this point to minimize the damage. Personally I try to take the route of not stealing intellectual property from my siblings to avoid these types of situations but to each his own. Keep us updated when she writes her apology. Screw her and your family. You deserve the success she stole. Are you going to continue writing under that name? Curious really what future a writer that steals books has. Not like they can write a second. And if they do, it would be obvious something is wrong. Right? I just, really can't believe the family is siding with this chick. It's beyond me that they didn't defend original post and see her point of view when her work was literally stolen. Reminds me of the 14-year-old girl who stole the entire plot of Laz Oud for her book in Russia and swore up and down she didn't steal the plot despite her princess being named Elda. The each end of Elda, Ajara's ask, Ajara has a question and it's up to our young green clothed ink to find answers. Followed by the sequel. The each end of Elda. Wreath of the ILD, the long-feared ILD has awoken and is furious at what man has done to his domain. Also the author got 200 pages in before realizing it's spelled rap and not wreath. My English isn't that good so I don't understand are you going to get the full profit from the book? I received the name the book is published under and every penny the book sold on from the moment the password is in my hands, tax information changed, and linking bank account changed. It's how Sil had set up her receiving payment method. Not good enough. You should get all profits. You should get the back earnings too. Once she releases her statement to her followers you may receive a huge backlash and a dip in sales. Also, you may have to face the reality that your book might be, for a lack of a better word, tainted. If she really does have such a diehard following, that allowed this book to climb so quickly, and you're allowing her to draft her own apology. You are going to have people turn on you as you will come out as a villain in her guaranteed non-apology. You need to read that apology first before it's published. If you ever want to re-release this book you need to do damage control now. I've been reading your comments and I know you think you're being tough, but you're still being far too generous. I think you spent so long letting people walk over you that doing this little bit feels like you're being a hard ass. But this really is still too little. You need to demand every penny of the earnings. You need to proofread that apology before it gets published. And you need to make it clear to your sister-in-law if she does you in any way you will take her to court. And honestly I think you should still sue her. I don't think your book can ever be released in a way that it won't be recognizable to her fan base and would be exposed to a lot of unfair and undue criticism and negative reviews. She's potentially damaged your ability to ever release it in its pure form. She's damaged your future earning potential. She stole from you. She didn't steal a laptop or a piece of jewelry. She stole a product of your soul. She stole something you spent years of dedication and love creating. She needs to be held accountable for this. Edit, spelling. What about the profits that she took for the previous sales? I will receive that too. I'm taking every cent from the moment the book went live to when I have full control of the book and pseudonymous. Way to go. I was reading the post and I have to say, this is some of the wildest stuff this sub has to offer. Don't go easy on your sis and don't forgive her easily. Not respecting your work is one thing but stealing and selling it is another. And then being mad about it and getting the parents against you? And now put on top that you are family. What a vile person. 
Wishing you just the best in future. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.